Hello and welcome to this subquery video where I'm going to show you how you can run a subquery indexer. Now, another way of thinking about this is that it's a subquery node, but you're not joining any particular network. What you're doing is running the node to allow you to host your own subquery project on your device, on your computer. So you can think of this in a similar fashion as running an Apache web server, and then your subquery project is like your PHP or your HTML code. Now that's because the network hasn't been created yet, but it's definitely on the roadmap. Now, the first thing you want to do is let's go ahead and install a database. You're going to have to install a Postgres database. So go to Postgres, sql.org forward slash download pick the operating system that you have and just to note that you want to install version 12 or higher anything lower than that is not supported so go ahead and download that first and then the next step is to go and install the actual sub query node application itself so if you're not sure if you have it or not go subql-node, hit enter, and you'll see command not found. Uh, this means you have to install it, and the command to do that is npm install, let's do it globally, subql forward slash node, and then go ahead and hit enter. It will take a few minutes, so let's sit tight, catch you back soon. Okay, so now that the database is installed, let's go to our subquery project. I've got one already here, so let's go CD. It's the Hello World one. And if you don't have this, what you can do is jump into GitHub, go back to the main page here, and then search for a hello world repository so let's just go hello hit enter here it is here click on this and then in the green code button copy this and basically just do a git clone to your computer navigate to that directory and then what you can do is run sub node well, first of all, let's run this and see what commands are available. You can see all the different flags. I won't go through every single one of them. However, you can visit the documentation and check out the reference section, which will explain with examples how these flags work. But the essential ones are F or dash dash subquery. So let's go ahead and go subquery node f which is basically saying this is the path or the directory of my project because i'm already in my project directory i just hit uh, uh, period or dot which indicates current directory hit enter and what you can see is i've got an error saying that it's not able to connect to the database so there's a password problem so let's cancel this so the first thing we want to do is you may have noticed we actually haven't done any database configuration. So first of all, let me uh, pull in the PG admin here and I'm going to create my own database first. I don't want to use the default Postgres one. Let's go uh, my sub query database like so. Save this. Okay, let me come back to this in a second. Now, to get rid of these errors, what I want to do is set some environment variables. So the first one here, I want to set, let's go export db pass. Because the default user here is Postgres. The password is, for me, I've set it as admin. For you, it may be different. Now I want to set the actual database. 
Now this was my subquery database that you saw me set just before. And then I'm going to set the host And finally, I'll set the port. There we go. So before I run this, let's just inspect our database first of all. So you can see I'm expanding this going down to the schema. There's only one, it's called public. And inside this public schema, there are no tables. So what I'll do is let's run this node and see what happens okay so you can see here it's already starting to fetch blocks 1 to 100 etc but the question is how do we know this is actually true and where is it being stored so let's double check our database here let's refresh our schema and now you'll see we've got a table that has just been created called subqueries. If we go and inspect the table, you'll see that there's one row and it holds various data such as the name, the schema, basically the configs. What you'll also note is on the left hand side, you'll see another schema that has been created and it's called subquery one. And if I open this up, Let's go and view the data here. You'll see this is where the actual block chain data is being stored. And you can see the block height here as well. So what's neat is I can actually run a query here. Let's go like so. And then hit run. And you'll see I get 2,000. 933, hit run again, 3,000, 3,100. So our node is definitely working. It's indexing the blocks and storing it into our database. So there you have it, a short video showing how you can run a subquery node or indexer locally, getting your project up and running without the use of Docker or having it hosted for you in subquery projects. Now, in a future video, I'll show you how you can connect the GraphQL GUI interface or the playground to this node so that you can uh, view and run the queries without going to the database. Catch you on the next video.